Although we Dunedain of the North have no proper armies, not anymore, our military prowess should not be underestimated. For every true blood Numenorean fights with the skill and fervour of ten lesser men. Our military strength now mainly comes from volunteers, and in times of need, mercenaries whose only loyalty is to gold. At the heart of this volunteer force stands the legendary Grey Company, my best and most loyal fighters. An elite group of true Dunedi, these battle-hardened men are perhaps the best mortal soldiers in all of Middle-earth. We do not carry any emblems or symbols save for a tiny silver star as our brooch. I trust every single one of these men with my life, and they have trusted theirs to me many times. Although the free peoples of Eriador look at me as their salvation and their protector against the goblin tide from the Misty Mountains, I cannot liberate their lands on my own. But with the Grey Company fighting by my side, those goblins will wish they would have never left their caves. Hello my friends and welcome back for the second episode of our Rangers of the North campaign in Divide and Conquer AGO. Before we start, I just want to say a massive thanks for all your support on the first episode. My expectations were quite high because I knew the Dunedain of the North are always one of the more favoured factions, they're a popular faction. Um, so my expectations were high and you still blew it out of the water, like the amount of views, likes, comments, the support was absolutely, or is because it's still ongoing, is absolutely crazy and I want to thank each and every one of you for that. Anyway, let's continue with our campaign. Uh, in the last episode, we captured Metrith with Halbarad and a bunch of mercenaries. Uh, and in the north, we took Fornost, or Deadman's Dyke as it was known, uh, with Herveleg and just the one unit of mercenaries, a journeyman. Uh, and that's pretty much all we did, right? Yes, we also killed a rather large goblin army here, almost throwing away Aragorn, but he was fine, he survived. Um, so I think moving forward, my plans are the following. I want to consolidate my realm, that's step number one. So I want to have Betrath, I want to take... Oh, the audio book is still there. I want to take Saloniac, and I want to take Turtoin, like to join Metrath with the rest of my realm. And in the north, I'm mostly interested in Anuminas. All the other settlements I don't really care about. I don't want to push too far north just yet, as to not have to deal with Angmar. Um, because before we deal with Angmar, I want to crush the goblins. That's kind of the plan. I want to take on one enemy at a time. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to enlist the help of my friends, the elves, up here, from Imladris, and my not-yet-friends, but soon-to-be, they just don't realize it yet, the dwarves of khazad -dûm. Because I don't really care about these settlements too much, like Brunost, Anon on a Rod, even khazad -dûm West, meh, Zakala over here as well. So I'm going to take these settlements, or have my allies take them, whatever applies, um, and if I take them, I'm going to sell them off to my allies in exchange for some tribute, in exchange for gold, in exchange for loyalty. Uh, especially down here at Austin Athil, um, because that settlement borders Dunland, and we're going to go to war with Dunland at some point. They will probably attack me sooner than I would like. That's always the case. Um, but I want to fight them at um, Tharbad. That's going to be my, my choke point. So I want to make sure that either the dwarves or the elves, preferably the elves, because they can rebuild the Gwaith emerging there, to border Dunland and help me in any wars. So I'm probably going to take all these lands and give them all away. I'm just that kind of a guy. Um, because screw the goblins. But to do that, we're going to need more troops. So let's see, we have rangers and wardens. We'll have a new ranger unit soon. Two more turns for the scouts. I think I'll wait those two turns. And in Ostsul, Ranger, and then two more turns for the Scout as well. I do have two more recruitment slots, so maybe I should invest in some local militia. Ah, oh, they're quite expensive though. No, wait, let's actually spend our cash on buildings first. We're not building in Ostsul. And I was a bit confused in the last episode. Was Ostsul or Amonsul, Cardolan, Arthurdain, or a Rudar settlement, which isn't really a thing? And it is... A Cardinal settlement, because we can build a Cardinal administration. So we already have two Cardinal settlements, and actually three, I think. Metrith is one too, isn't it? Yes, so we can already restore Cardinal. <laughs> it's just after is going to be a bit more difficult. I know Fornost, I know Numenos. Like, what's. Uh, Undertowers? Where else should I expand? More north? Hmm. 
Uh, Cardolan was always going to be the easier one, but that allows me to get Cardolan units as well, I think, if I do that, so that's going to be quite nice. Anyway, what do we want to build? Leather Tanner? Not quite. Chicken farming? Kind of do for the pop growth. It is quite good. I can get farm and pikemen, which, if I'm not mistaken, no longer have the phalanx ability. So they're no longer really, really pikemen. They're less OP, which is good. An armory. It does give a garrison now, doesn't it? I think Garwin made like a long post explaining that they do give garrisons. I just don't understand how it works exactly. <laughs> I thought I read that they don't give garrisons. Oh, am I just a terribly confused person? I guess... I guess they do, yeah. Okay, whatever. Um, smoking house, meh. Rangers Hall, free upkeep and recruitment slots is pretty good, but I think we're going to go for the chicken farming just to get the population to grow. These places are deserted, after all, and we want to make sure to have some people... Uh, well, I don't need to explain the birds and the beasts to you now, do I? Uh, Turdhoin has a beefy garrison, but they're just goblins. Too bad that in mind. Brunost is actually almost undefended, and the elves, do they hold Sakala? Can't really check. I could send like a very small army just to take Brunost, and Diplomat, I'm already going to keep you in the area of the elves, because I'm going to start selling them territory. And then I can use that territory, or that money that I get from selling territories, to uh, expand my, my warmongering. Okay, so I'm actually kind of considering just sending in my archers yes. to kill Gorgash real quick, because I don't want him wandering in my lands. He causes devastation. He's not a nice guy. Just a quick, clean battle to get rid of this annoying man. He will respawn as long as the Barrow Mounds in Mengelen are corrupted. Those assholes will keep spawning, but hey, let's clean him up one at a time, eh? This is a game I like to call Dunedain Hide and Seek. Can you tell me where my army is right now? <laughs> this is perfect for us. Where's my army? Any guesses? They're actually firing. You just can't see them. Ah, there they are. See? <laughs> Sneaky buggers, huh? Alright, well, I mean, the entire plan is to just not let them get close, right? Where are they? Oh, they're very far away. Damn, our range is incredible. Are we actually hitting them? We are hitting them. They are completely unfazed by it. And I do stand corrected, and Arian uh, corrected me in the previous episode. I mentioned that these guys would be old kings of Numenor and all that, and, and previous lords, but that is not the case. They're just evil spirits. Uh, there's no real connection to, to our ancestors, I suppose. Alright, I'm going to move you a bit closer. I don't want this battle to take too long. Oh, there we go. They're finally getting their step in. But, I mean, they have two hit points, so you might think, oh, they're not going down. But the moment their first hit point is gone, the second one tends to follow rather quickly. So we're just whittling them down, and as one starts to fall, there we go, beautiful timing, and they're all going to start dropping relatively quickly. If they don't start running, they're never going to make it. If they do start running, they might make it. Some might make it. There you are. are you going now? Come on. You lazy bums. I do like the helmets, though. the old Numino helmets. Only a couple have them. The others are wearing crowns and shit. Alright, well... It's not the hardest battle. These are the kind of results I'm after, though, with the Rangers. Just don't even allow them to get close. Oh, man. I should be playing Fortunate Sun at this point. 40. Keep it up. Keep your senses, yeah. 36. Oh, they're getting close to my lines. They're getting close to my lines. I'm gonna send in Halberdad. Just so... My rangers are safe. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Oh, the counter charge. Look at that. That was a thing of beauty. Alright, well, Halbrad, as long as you don't die, then it doesn't really matter that I lose anyone. I'm gonna move my rangers. Oh, I can barely see anything, man. These woods. Move them to the flank. So we have a slightly less friendly fire, at least. Where is Pretty Boy Halberdat? Is he safe? Oh, he's very safe in the back there. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Halberdat kind of looks like me if I grew my hair out. Nah, I'm not that blonde. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. More of a dirty blonde. All right, now fire in there, rear. Don't go in melee, you fool! No, don't go in melee. You die. 
I can see the Barrowites in melee. Very scary. The Barrowites, whenever they're not in melee, meh. Come to think of it, I still need to get some OP things as a... Uh, as a Dunedain, right? Aragorn's quest, which gives me some good bonuses. And Gandalf still needs to pop up. I think. If it's, if it's the same in AGO as it is in Dag, then I'm gonna get Gandalf, which is... Quite good. Alright, there we go. Just a quick clean-up battle. Stupid Barrow Whites. Take a nap. There we go. What a dramatic death. Like, why are you so dramatic? It's not the first time you died. Anyway, get back. Uh, actually, are there any interesting mercenaries that I should be, uh... Nope, they're already bought out. Did you buy them, Alf? Oh, you did buy them. You're buying cell swords with pipeweed money, huh? Hmm. Asshole. Uh, right, anything else I need to do or want to do? I don't think so. So, let's see, next turn we get the rangers, then one more turn for the scouts. Um, and then we can march to Turthoin. I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's okay. I don't know, maybe I'm being a bit too passive. I don't know. I, I haven't played Northern Dunedain in forever. The last time I played a full campaign as a Northern Dunedain was in DAC version... Two, I think. Maybe it wasn't even Dak. Maybe it was just Third Age Total War, and they weren't even uh, the Northern Dunedain. They were the Free Peoples of Eriador, and it was both Bree and the Northern Dunedain in one faction, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're gonna marry off Hervigil to Merwin. I mean, if she looks like that, then you're a lucky man. There you go. Boom. Oh crap, that's not good. Turdhorn suddenly hasn't got much of a garrison left, which means something foul is afoot. They're marching through my lands, shag rat. Well, I don't really trust this. Who holds that color? It is the goblins, okay. There's Gilder in glory, and he has returned from his travels. Smug bastard. I like Wendy Lords. Well, if you just assemble an army, you can do a whole lot of damage, my friend. But I'm kind of concerned now where that army of Turtoin is gone. Maybe it's gone from... No, it hasn't gone for Saloniac. I really need to start pushing for Saloniac. Okay, first things first. Ostzul. Mm, do I use you, out of four? No, you, you're kind of expensive, dude. I'm gonna use Aragorn. Like, he's the man. Uh, wait a second. How far can you guys go? You... I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna leave one warden and one general behind. That should be enough to defend Fenestrunen against a much larger goblin army. Okay. Stop right there, criminal scum, because if I do that, yes. he's not going to attack it in the same turn. I want to take it in the same turn. However, I have a, I've got a trick for that. I'm going to send you in. Position you... Wait a second. I need to do some quick thinking here. I'm actually a smart DAC player if I take my time. You go there, and you lay siege to it, and then you join that siege. And now we can attack it in the same turn. Ah, big brain plays right there. What have you got for me, Zulk, Zulk Dush? Jesus Christ. It's like they just barfed on the keyboard and just came up with whatever name. Uruk Overseers. Okay, they're a pretty good unit, but there's only 53 of them. They're more of a motivational unit. They motivate the others. Okay. Goblin Arches. I mean, they got two missile attack, but there's 121 of them. Eh, could be worse. 46 Goblin Infantry and then Zulk Dush, right? 86 dudes. What do you have? Warg Riders? Oh, they're just regular Warg Riders, they're not the uh, Goblin Bodyguard Warg Riders. Okay, so they should go down fairly easily. Okay, I won't make the same mistake of sending in Aragorn pretty much stretched out to uh, let him get exterminated. I will be a little bit more careful with him, but in this case, I think my Ranger is going to do most of the damage. Alright, let's take uh, our first settlement of the Goblins of Moria. Alright, let's start our deployment. There is a very nice hill here. I do like me a bit of hill. I've already set up target practice, but uh, the real target practice is going to be right here. So I think if I put my rangers on this hill, it's just going to be an execution, pretty much. Alright, well... I mean, the hill is pretty steep, but I think I can get on that. Yeah, I can definitely get on that. Uh, and then I'm going to have my wardens uh, and Aragorn cover the, the sides. In case anyone tries to push through. Yeah, they're all... Oh, that is... Can they get on this side of the hill? I don't think... Maybe... Maybe there's a path here? I don't think so, actually. Oh, this is... 
Ooh. Like, if that works as I'm thinking it's going to work right now, then that is going to be a thing of beauty, my friends. I'll put Aragorn with the rangers in case anyone gets through somehow. And if they do a calf charge, I can go in shield wall, which is like the best calf counter except pikes and stakes, I suppose. Although I'm hoping to just kind of sit there and take it like a man, like a goblin. Okay, so I think that's the path they might try and take. But I've got Aragorn and Dunedain Wardens on that approach. I'll move a little bit closer. Make sure you're on guard mode, so we don't go chasing enemies. And there we go, just fired away at them. Oh, this is... This is just crude. Look at that, look at this position. That is a ranger's, like, dream. Who are you? Look over serious. Well, let's maybe take down the archers first, because they almost like, can actually kill my rangers. And of course, we want to keep our rangers alive for as long as possible. You guys are going to serve me for many, many battles to come. If the Uruk Overseers want to have a go, then by all means, try. Ah, uh, the permanent arrows is such a nice change for the Dunedain. Like, it's so perfect. I do like this unit a lot. Like, it looks really cool. I like their whip. Because as you all know, where there is a whip, that is a way. However, even if there is a whip here, there's not really a way. <laughs> No way to success. Uh, the archers have been whittled down to pretty much half. That makes them a whole lot less effective. Let's start fighting on the, the choose here units a little bit. Those yippity yappity works. I mean, if they're not going to counter me, I can just sit here and, and my rangers will kill them all. The enemy are badly bloodied. Archers down to 25. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. Warg riders, look at those numbers just flying down. <laughs> it's a good day to be a Dunedain, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. Watch this video get one dislike of an angry goblin. Fools. <laughs> they try to take my lands. Look at that. They're not even trying. They've just given up. Just like Lincoln Park. They've just given up. Alright, he's a bit tankier. That's gotta be the general. Yeah. Doesn't really give a shit. Brave but foolish, my old Jedi friend. Brave but foolish. Oh, there we go. Bloop. And that's... <laughs> Look at all the arrows. <laughs> Battlefield cleaned up, boys. We lost two. Which is 0% of an army, somehow. That's not how maths work, but okay. Uh, look at that. 113, 105, 88. And that's all she wrote. That's how you take Turtoid. Easy peasy. Thank you very much. Let's see. Occupy. Ooh, 16 gold coins. Hmm, that's going to keep my economy afloat. Sack, 44, exterminate 160. That's a decent pop, so we'd assume. Let's occupy it, because we want to expand it. 293. So should I just get a garrison here? Might work out, then. Uh, army cannot support many men, however, and the garrison of the summit will only be small. So it does give a garrison, right? Right. Apparently, Garwin explained to me, I kind of assumed that there wasn't going to be a garrison, because I've been playing version 5 of DAC, where it lists, like, oh, you get this unit... And here it doesn't list it explicitly, it just kind of mentioned it implicitly. Like it just says, oh, you'll get a garrison. But it doesn't really explain all that much. Hmm, what's culture like? Do I have any culture? Oh, we've got a fair bit of culture, actually. i got no buildings whatsoever. Okay. Cardinal. Hmm, I could turn this into an intro. <laughs> so don't read it just yet. So I'm thinking maybe an armory wouldn't be too bad. Because, I mean, we're going to get attacked there quite a bit, I think. Hmm, I don't know. Shit's hard. Then again, I'm also going to, like, immediately push onwards, I think. Huh. I'm kind of I'm kind of torn here. Right, let's get the armory. Uh, and let's move out. Uh, who do I leave behind? I don't really know. Yes, my lord. I'll leave the one unit rangers? Oh, well, I can't move out on this turn anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, yes, like, tell me what's up. There's Brunost. There's Anon on a rod. And then there's Austin Athil here. Kazadum West. I kind of need to plan my movement a little bit so we don't get, like... I don't want to lose Fenestrun, whatever happens. I mean, this, these two guys can hold off a much bigger force, but... Well, they're not yes, immortal either. Okay, um, that's all my money spent. 
unfortunately. The trade's got the library, good, culture's gonna go up. Or maybe, 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 aha, uh -huh. I should probably focus on Saloniac first. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get this army moving. I don't think Matraith will get attacked by anyone anytime soon, so I can leave it relatively undefended, yeah. if culture allows it. I'll uh, leave behind Brilliant Militia to keep the peace. Let's see, low tax. There we go, 75%. People are happy. And then Halberad, move carefully. We don't know what's yes. lurking in the shadows. Let's Whoa. put down a watchtower. Oh, frick. Hello, Dunland. Dunland's already here. Oh, that is much quicker than I... He might just... Ah, that means Mitraith is not very safe. Hmm. I need to take Tharbad ASAP to get that choke point. Or I need to somehow be friends with Dunland. Oh, Dunland, Dunland, Dunland. You are throwing a spanner in the works right now. Oh, that is annoying. If Dunland attacks me straight away, we're screwed. Right, if they want to take Metraith, let them. I'm going to take Saloniac. That's, I think, also a more useful settlement to have. Then in the north, uh, at Fornost, Anumanas only has one garrison as well, so their rebel army is wandering about somewhere. Hmm. Could my journeyman alone keep the peace? They cannot, because I cannot lower the tax rate there. What if I throw in, like, one unit of wardens? No, we cannot keep the peace. We need to wait a little bit longer. I just hope no one else takes Anumanas in the meantime. So I need to get a library there ASAP to get uh, the culture. Lots of culture unrest. Distance to capital. Or I move Ada 4 to lead the army. That could work. Let's do that. Ada 4, I've got a mission for you, even though you're quite expensive in the upkeep. That's okay. That is alright. Okay then, I think that's the end of our turn. Oh, Donald, please don't attack me. If you attack me, I'm gonna... Ooh, that's gonna really be hard to deal with. Like, really hard. Okay, so the plan is to take Brunost, sell it to the elves, and then push onwards to Anon on a Rod, sell it to the elves. I hope that motivates them to push for Zakala. And then we can look towards Kazadoom West. Oh, hello there. You really want to try that? I mean, I don't like your odds here. As a very loud motorcycle passes by. Captain Shagrat. Oh, and my units of scouts which just finished training. That's beautiful timing. I mean, really. Goblin Band. I'm a big fan of music, but even the Goblin Band can't amuse me. And Goblin Infantry. You guys. I mean... Alright, well. They want to test my defenses? Poke fun at me? Let's... Kill them. Mouse of Power is not in my favor, but I'm... Maybe I'm being too cocky, but I'm not scared at all. Like, whatsoever. Muster your courage, men. Alright, so we have horse archers. They have no archers whatsoever, so we can just run circles around them. Uh, ooh, I can actually position my lads on the hill as well. Um, I think I'll put my horse archers on the hill. Oh, I can't because they're in like a big circle position. Oh, okay. So we're just going to kind of keep them distracted. Who was it historically that used that strategy? Was it the Parthians? I think it was the Parthians, right? I mean, the Mongols, of course, as well, but against the, most famously against the Romans. I believe that was the Parthians. So we're going to do some Parthian tactics. We can still do a Cantabrian circle, or circle and shoot, it's now called. It's always kind of weird to have a Cantabrian circle in Lord of the Rings where Cantabria is not a thing. Goblin Infantry is the stronger of the two units. Ah, oh, you poor sots. Hey boys, how about we take a small detour to Fenris Drunin? That seems like a great idea. It's so undefended. We could just waltz in there and take it. Yeah, well... No. I've already lost 10%. Let's keep it up. Are they going to try to go after my Dunedain bodyguards? Yes, they are. No, they're not. They don't really know. The Wardens can hold off quite a large foe, quite a large army. But yeah, the, the point also of donating settlements to Casa Doom and to the Elves is that I personally don't have to deal with the Doomstack. Because when we take Casa Doom West, they're going to get a big mean Doomstack that I really don't want to deal with. 
So if I give it to the dwarves, then they have to deal with it, and they are also way more outfitted to deal with it, so... It's both easier and not my problem, which is the best way to go about it. Not at Wardens! You're already killing a banner carrier, it was a bit antsy. Hold! You'll be fine! Oh! Now run away! You're the kind of unit that shouldn't take any casualties whatsoever. Alright. I'm gonna put you on skirmish mode. Skirmish modes actually work decently well when it's cavalry versus infantry. The AI tends to respond fast enough. Which is a surprise, I know. Alright, these guys I'm not too worried about because they replenish, so let's mostly give cover support to the wardens without shooting them, preferably. Let's toot toot our horn for good luck. And shoot him in the rear. Oh, they're also, uh, they were shaken for a moment. So perhaps we don't have to kill them all. And these guys, I think, are also alright in the charge, right? Uh, five charge bonus with six melee attack isn't too bad. Especially against goblins with no armor. Half the enemy, force remains. Half the enemy and we've got 5% dead. We got this. Like, they're out of ammo. I can do a sneaky charge, right? My general safe. Uh, not really. I think a charge could be enough to route them. No, apparently not. Okay, push back. Don't stay in prolonged combat. And charge them again. We can route them the quickest, and then we'll only have lost like 15 Dunedain Wardens. Charge! Benumino! Come on, boys, get in there. I know you're not Lancer Calf. That was a pathetic charge. Hey, it still worked. Wavering. Route, route, route. Wonderful. Gone. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. Perhaps I can try ransoming you again. I'm very happy to clean up this army though, because that should open up the road to Brunost. Which I could just probably take with this unit alone and then sell it to the elves. And just keep on moving. That's kind of the plan. Especially with Tharbad hot on my heels. I need to deal with these goblins sooner rather than later. Alright, pull out. Don't lose anyone. Remember, the generals replenish. Just let the general clean up, honestly. I could, I could send in the Wardens to speed it up, but like, these guys replenish, the Wardens don't, so... It's really just smarter not to use the Wardens when I don't have to. Goodbye, lone goblin. I'll see you on the far side. As long as the general doesn't die, I think he's fine. Okay, that's enemy general. <laughs> so a little bit concerned for like a, a brief split second, it was like, uh oh. Did I just have to eat my own words there? Ah, it's just a goblin band. They're wavering. They're not having a good time. I could just do one charge and, and this. But possibly lose a horse or two. Let's not risk it. These guys got it. So for the corrupt. Like, it's just a matter of chopping them down with their axes, right? They're not really killing anyone. They're pretty pathetic. They're holding out a lot longer than I expected, though. I would have expected these guys to be routing right about ten minutes ago. But hey, that's alright. I mean, if we only have to fight once at Penazuna, I'll consider that a miracle. The goblins tend to be quite aggressive. And with aggressive, I mean quite annoying. Alright, come on. Bye-bye. You made your point. Please don't be stubborn about this. Don't be like me. There we go. 96% that army is gone. Or actually... I can still get a couple more prisoners. 65... 78... Oh no, no fire! You're gonna do friendly fire! Ooh, that could have gone poorly. That's good enough for me. So we lost 30, which is uh, actually only 18. Which is actually only 12. So we all lost 12 real dudes that we don't get back easily. And we killed... Well, in total, the army of 938 is gone. Another heroic victory, yes. Put it with the others, nice. A ransom value of 211. Ah, yes. Stonks. That's how you make money, boys. Alright, I see a small army moving towards Turdhoin, which is brave but foolish. Can't really blame him, though. Um, I probably should just move out and crush it. Okay. Talk about Saloniag. It's winter now, by the way. Look at that. Oh, it's so nice. So pretty. 
Oh, hello there. Ooh, please don't attack me. Where the hell did you come from, anyway? If you if you attack Metrith, I'm going to be really upsetty spaghetti. <sighs> I see woodland hunters, which is kind of scary. A little bit closer. Not cell swords. I'm just doing some some thinking here. And on and what also pretty undefended. Luna the bloody two hundred and two. What kind of unit are you? Mountain orc hunters. Okay, but again, very low armor, no shield, pretty weak to archers. So that's my forte. Can I? Can you reach Brunos? You can reach Brunos. I just I think you can just take Brunos with the one. Oh yes, definitely, definitely. And then I can sell it immediately and move back. As you wish. The scouts. Yeah, I should have more. Oh, I can even reach an iron rod. But it's a castle, so I have to do a siege. This is just a village, so I can just walk in there without a siege. Yes, my. We need to be able to talk to the elves right away. Without question. As you. I don't want to keep it like, at all. Okay, there's Lord Eladon. Your attention is an honor, noble ally. It is. Thank you. At least you realize it. Um, we take the scouts. We take Brunos, but just the scouts. What are you, anyway? Uh, you're going to try to take to Earthhorn, you're going to fail. It's going to be fun. Hilarity ensues. Um, I mean, this feels too easy. And that's coming from a guy literally named Easy. Alright, let's go for Brunos. Like, Bouncer Power is like, no, you can't win this. But I think I can just shoot him. <laughs> Let that be the end of it, right? And if they're still alive after that, I can just run into them repeatedly. I, I, I see no downsides to this. Yes, my lord. The men to All of this is just part of a large ploy. Ooh, wait. Don't fire just yet. Just to get the elves involved, because they're kind of too passive on their, their own. I'm going to take the high ground. It has proven to be effective before. Oh, look, they look all snowy. Wait, I'll show you in a moment when they're standing still. Look. I mean, those guys are beyond just looking snowy. They just look straight up frozen. All right, get in the best position. And fight away at them. You're going to have the high ground advantage. Which gives increased range, but also, I think, increased accuracy. Maybe even increased damage. I'm not quite sure. Oh! Either way, it's very damn effective. I think we'll have enough ammo to kill them. And if we don't, I don't think they'll have more than... 20 goblins left standing. But at this rate, we're just cutting them down. Alright, skirmish mode's on. It's just a matter of watching them die. Ah, uh, when in doubt, get horse archers. Alright, but if this works, I take the settlement, sell it to the high elves, high elves get involved, start fighting alongside, hopefully take Zakala on their own. That's like the one settlement they need to take on their own. I can't really expand anyone else. And then I can Enemy focus on a non on a rod afterwards. No, we lost half the ammo. We still have more than half our ammo. So, with my amazing maths, I can deduce we'll have enough ammo. Alright, move back. <laughs> you fools. They're, they're trying to do my strategy. Like, oh, we don't need big garrisons. Look, it's working for the Northern Dunedain. Let's just keep one unit behind. No, brother, that's not how it works. I fully expect the elves to lose the settlement again, though. But, hey. At least I get some money out of it. That's the plan, at least. But I'm not going to ask for too much. Like, I don't want the deal to fall apart. If I can get, like, what, a thousand for ten turns? Is that is that asking too much? It would greatly help my economy. Okay, we've got 54 left. But they're going spread. They finally learned that they should spread out. Alright, I'm out of ammo. They got 34 remaining, so my, my estimate of 20 wasn't that far off. So let's just charge them. The 40 minute timer. <laughs> We're not going to wait for that. Even though I, I could, I don't think the AI is actually going to try to stop it. Like, I can't really charge her. Do I just stay in melee? 5, 7, 6, 7. We're slightly better. We're actually much better. <laughs> okay, we only lost two. Nice. Oh, three, excuse me. Maybe we healed one. No, that's a shame. That's how you do it, though. Captain Aradorn? Is it just me or is the announcer just talking a whole lot more than usual? Anyway, Aradorn, he's not quite Aragorn, but he's almost as much of a Chad, so that's a very good result. Ooh, that is... That, that's really good news, actually. 
Bada bing, bada boom. I'll occupy it. It's the old problem now. Hello, Lord Eladon. And if I occupy it, I think the value of the settlement is higher. Because more population, more buildings. Okay, so, hear me out. You're bankrupt, which is a great start to our negotiations. I'm going to give you a settlement. It is prime real estate. Finest spot in all of Middle Earth. Okay. And you're going to give me money. Let's see, a thousand for ten cents. How does that sound? Balanced. No, they rejected it. Ah, oh, fuck. Another proposition. We're happy to listen. Uh, what was it, Brunos? Don't want to give the wrong settlements. But usually when they say no once, the second attempt, like, tends to fail. Alright, I'm going to ask for a whole lot less then. 500 for 10 turns. That's so much less. It's still balanced. I want to get generous. Um, 250 for 10 turns? That's dirt. It's still balanced. Like, what? What if I do 500 for 5 turns? Still balanced. What does it take for it to be generous? 100 for 10 turns? That's, that's nothing. Still balanced. You know what? Just take the damn thing. This wonderful At least I know we'll accept it and I don't have to get stuck defending it and losing it straight away. Okay. The game... Okay, there we go. Well, that seemed fruitful. <laughs> fruitful for you, perhaps, asshole. I'll remember that. So now you hold Brunost. I'm gonna pull back to the bridge. If you wanna go after me, go ahead and do so. You need to get an army there, because otherwise, you know, you're gonna immediately lose it. Okay, what's next? At least Dunland has buggered off. I'm gonna go for Saloniag. Could already lay siege to it. Or could have Albert do it. Right, let's just take, take a look at this army. What have you. I know you have woodland hunters, but what else have you got? Bandits. That's it? Okay, well, <laughs> let's kill them real quick, and that should open up the road to Saloniac, which pleases me greatly. Alright, time for the tried and true strategy of just shooting them until they're dead. Featuring our ranger boys, and Halberat, of course. Alright, kill those woodland hunters, because they're the only ones that can really do some damage. The bandits. I'm less scared of bandits than I am of, um, like, Lumbermen, for example. Because they're armor-piercing, because so they still tend to do a lot of damage. Whilst the, the bandits or the ruffians, the ruffians, they uh, don't do as much. Not armor-piercing, just not that good. A little bit tankier, but that's pretty much it. Uh, look, the hunters are already dying in droves. I need to train me some of those, man. They're actually really good. Like, I just got hit in the face twice, and he didn't move a muscle. Must have been one of those guys that shot like a flaccid arrow. Alright. Uh, focus on the ruffians. You'll hit some woodland hunters by mistake, no doubt. And we'll have the arch militia fight on them because they have lower defense. Lower armor and, and no shield, so they'll still hit. Keep them at a distance. Alright. Send in the rough ruffians. Arch Militia, hold. Hold. Is there going to be enough time? <sighs> Let the lines meet. Ah, oh, beautiful. There we go. Let's flank around with you two. Because these guys will not hold for long. Even though they're already shaken. Which is a bit of a surprise. They're not quite stirred. Uh, you fired on them because they're more separated, so we need higher accuracy. These guys are clumped up. Oh, no, 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 no. Where the fuck are you going? Ah! Don't chase me. Don't do this to me, buddy. Oh, they're ruffians. I thought they were wooden hunters. Okay. Doesn't really matter that much. I'll have to use my uh, arch militia in melee just to keep them occupied whilst my rangers clean up. Uh, fire, please. There we go. Shoot them in the air. This guy's been rolling in the snow, making snow angels, huh? There we go. Execute them! Right in the spine. I guess they'll never walk again, eh? The enemy 
Right, how bad you can tank in melee? That's fine. Got a bit of a beast. Shoot. Go in melee, and then you guys can actually hit them. Oh, uh, you routing? Oh, boo hoo. Damn, I'm sassy. Alright, so those guys don't stand a chance. Never again! Will the lands of honor fall into an immense? You know it. Oh. You done? You had enough? No. Figured. Alright. Oh, there we go. 91%. We lost 33%, but that's just the, the ruffians and the Breland militia, which I'm not too fussed about. That's a very nice result. And now the road to Saloniac should be open, and we should have more than enough lads to uh, clean it up. How about you rolling the snow for a little bit, huh? Yeah, let's besiege Saloniac. Just the steel, or sell swords. We can shoot him with the steel bows. No problem. And at that point, we've uh, pretty much... Like joined our realm together, which is uh, was definitely a top priority for me. Boop 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 boop. Metrith. I need to build something somewhere, and it needs to be kind of useful. At the same time, I need to take this army and keep moving. And also Adafor, of course. He's Lord, coming in. My Lord. Captain Hop. Don't don't be silly. Like just, just don't do anything silly. All right. I'm gonna take Adafor. And we are going to move towards Anuminas. If I take Anuminas, then I've got pretty much all the settlements I want for a while. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty much happy with that. Then we can just focus on expanding what we have. Like, I don't need a whole lot if it's only one garrison. I can leave behind some troops. You know what I'll do? I'll take, I'll take the journeyman. I'll leave behind one unit of wardens and then Hervigil who has rangers. And there we go. Lake Evendim, that's part of Anuminas. And then there's the Arthurdain Fields up north, but I don't want to take that. Not to risk the ire of Angmar even more so. Oh, right. Venice Drunin. I could build something there, except I can't afford it. Matraith. Well, you know what I'm actually going to do first? I'm going to take the army at Turdhoin and crush this army. That'll give us a little bit of extra cash from sacking them, or looting them, whatever. Uh, and then push towards an on and a raw with that army. So, let's see, we'll take everyone except one unit of rangers. Oh, peace is going to be an issue. Uh, I'll take a look at that in a moment. So we got three units of goblin infantry, one unit of goblin archers, and some snaga skirmishes. Shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Maybe we got Aragorn, he can clean up that entire army on his own. No, Izzy, don't make the same mistake last time, we're not going to do that. <laughs> just gonna, we're just going to shoot them and Aragorn can be back up, alright. Start deployment. I actually think that our Dunedain scouts might outrange. We got 120 meters range. I think we might. We definitely outrange the Snaga skirmishes, no doubt about that. But I think we also outrange. Alright, let's make sure that we have a sufficiently thick line, not spread out them so much. There we go. Uh, but I think we might outrange the Snaga archers as well. Let's take a peek. Um, boop, boop, boop. So, uh, Goblin archers. 140. Okay, so we just barely don't. But if we get a bit of high ground, then I think we, we do. Our rangers definitely uh, they are already in range. Yeah, hit those goblin archers. Hit them where it hurts. Which is right between the eyes. Yeah. How would you like that, huh? And we're going to go round and round to shoot the Snaga skirmishes. The only unit Aragorn should be slightly scared of, I think. Alright, get moving. As long as they're not returning fire, then we are good. Yes, my pretties, yes! I fired on them. You fired on the Snagas. Pick your feet up. Goblin's also looking quite snowy. I like that. I don't think Dak used that shader version. Great company! Hold! Hold! Go! Just don't let them get any volleys off. There we go. That's already used. Chief of the Dunedain. Alright, they want to have a go. That's fine. They're routing already! 
Are you little bitches or what? There's lots of potential for a uh, prisoner taking here. So I could just ransom my way through the goblin lands. Finally make some money. Alright, fight uh, on the arches are actually the only ones I'm really scared of. Adagon's completely fine. These guys are completely fine. Look at these nerds. Oh, you almost caught me. That reminds me of my, my three-year-old cousin. So my, my brother's son. And they also have a cat at home. And my, my cousin loves to chase the cat. And the cat likes to play with him as well. So if this is my, my cousin, he'd run after the cat. And just as he's about to reach the cat, the cat runs away like a little bit. And then he ends up chasing him again and again and again and again. Because children are kind of kind of dumb a little bit. So in his mind, he still thinks he can catch the cat at some point. Whilst in reality, the cat knows. And we know. That ain't gonna happen. And that's kind of the same deal with the skirmishes. That kind of reminds me of that. I sound like a weird compare. Okay, Aragorn is a little bit exposed, so let's send in the support. We've let him solo for long enough. We're giving him the chance to get some experience. That's what this entire thing is all about. Are oh, you running? Come on, don't run. And you guys, make sure you fire on the archers so we don't deal with friendly fire. I don't want to be mocked for friendly fire again. Alright, they're running. Take them prisoner if you can. Shoot the goblin infantry. Come on, boys. Keep fighting. Great companies going after the archers. Uh, how about you guys pull back, actually? Alright, fight them then. Okay, if you're in there, you might as well fight back. And let's do a charge to rout them. It's probably the most effective way to deal with them. And you stop fighting because friendly fire. No, 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 I'm not done yet. Even the audio couldn't catch up. There's like so much going on at the same time. Captain Ukrat. It's now Captain Dead Rat. Uh, let's take some prisoners because I want to sell them off. There we go. It's something. Can take those 33 guys prisoner as well. Snaga skirmishes. They're fast. They're really fast. Hunt them down. And that should give me some money. Because at this moment I'm so poor that I can not build my settlements. And that's really poopy because I'm losing so much time because of that. So many turns and I'm not building anything. There's wasted turns. But at this point I have so many settlements so I should start earning some money. At least that's going as planned. Alright. 39. Ooh, 8 friendly fire again. So I've only really lost a couple wardens. That's pretty much it. That's not too bad. I can live with that. The Lone Lands. What a nice place. 374 is a nice ransom if they actually end up coughing up. Oh, you... That is just mean. Alright. Well, first things first. Can we pacify these people? We can. Lower taxes always work. Oh, right. Trust me, I'm Belgian. I know all about taxes. I could get some mercenaries, but I feel like I have... This is a good enough army to waltz all the way to uh, Hazadoom. So let's just go for it. This is Eregion. That's part of Austin and Thil. I kind of want to go for Holland first, not on Rod. Moria, the mines of Moria. That's Kazadum. They already Kazadum is an army here. Is Kazadum West under siege? No, I don't think it is. Those are the garrisons. They already get them now. I chief an Uglak. That's the faction leader. What unit have you got? Mountain Urux. Ooh, that's a scary unit. That is a unit. I, are they armor piercing? I think they are, aren't they? No, they're not armor piercing. They're just a very high attack. Okay. Very scary unit. But besides that, let's just trash upon trash upon trash. Like, Orc Defenders are their best unit. My cousin, Jim, just go for it. You can take it on your own, and then I can focus on Anon Rod and Austin Athil, and then we can almost consider the elves. Or, uh, not the elves. The goblins done and dusted. My lord. <laughs> okay, so I got a little bit of money. Um. 
I think I should probably round off here. I think we're about an hour in. So in the next episode, we're going to go for an on a rod. Hopefully yes, take it. If we have any steam left, this army can join up as well. Uh, we'll push for either Khazadum West, perhaps with support of the Dwarves of Khazadum. Oh, I just realized if I take Khazadum West, how am I ever going to sell it to the Dwarves? I might have to do some, some cheating to get my diplomat in there because... Passage here is ridiculously annoying. Um, an Arn Arad, Kazadum West, Austin Athil, those are my goals. If I manage to do that, we're looking quite good. Like, it's only six turns in, I've already achieved quite a bit. We have Matrith, we're taking Saloniac, we'll take that in the next episode. We have Turdhoin, Fenris Drunin, Ost Sul, Ford Nost. Uh, we're already moving an army to deal with a Numenas. So let's see, we got 1.1k, I can buy one building. What do I want to buy? Okay, I can't even buy anything there. We're building an armory there, which... Uh, honestly, I don't think I'll need it anymore, right? Because we're pushing so fast. I don't see them attacking Turtwine right now. Not if I move on to a non and or a Austin Athil fast enough. I think take an on and rod, settle to the elves, go for Austin Athil, and then go for Khazadun West. At that point, we don't border them anymore, so the goblins will not attack any of my settlements, or shouldn't attack any of my settlements, which means I don't need the Dunedain Armory here. That is a lot of money saved. Um, let's see, what do I want to build in Turdhoin? Not a whole lot, actually. Not a whole lot. I guess I'll get... Do I want the carpenter's hut? I want chicken farms there. Which is food? No, that's livestock. Requires land clearance. Okay, we'll get the land clearance then. 1.1k. Fenas Drunin. I could get the chicken farms there for the extra population growth. Or lumber. I, I just need more money. So stuff that gives me trade would also be kind of good, I think. Faunas, I think I'll get land clearance there as well. Which also gives me pop growth, if I'm not mistaken. And then at Matraith. Matraith would be more of a candidate for an armory, I'd say. But for now, I think I'll get the crane exchange. I do a lot of trading in Matraith, right? 98. 106. Uh, are you kidding me? Devastation. That should be... Oh, no, because the rebel army. Mm, annoying. <laughs> like, what do I get here? What do I get here? Carpenter's hut? Yeah, I guess carpenter's hut. To... Uh, cheapen any uh, future expenses anyway that's gonna be it for today's episode episode number two i hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as i did hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as episode one and with that said i hope to catch you soon for episode number three